You're on set and someone says, go grab the best boy. And you realize that you have no idea who that is because you don't know what a best boy is. That's why today I'm gonna to tell you what every role is and what they all do. Let's go. It's gonna be quick fire. Director, they direct the film. They tell everyone what they want to get their creative vision across. They are the head of the creative for the film. They're responsible for the film looking the part that everyone wants it to. Producers, they're the money. On big films, they organize everything. They're the ones who find the finance, who get the location. They get everything there on set for the director to do his job. Best producers are the ones who trust the directors. The worst producers are the ones who try to direct. Director of photography or DOP, also known as a cinematographer, they're the ones who are responsible for the visuals of the film. They choose the camera, the lenses, the look, the lighting. Good lighting is what makes good cinematography. On a small film, your DOP will also be your cam op. But on bigger films, the cam op, camera operator, operates the camera. You might have loads of these. Your camera assistants, they're responsible for making sure the battery is always good to go, that the memory cards or the film is already in stock and sorting that out, making sure everything is running smoothly. You're gonna have a focus puller. They're gonna make sure everything's in focus all the time. Old school, they'll have a tape measure and be doing it that way, marking it on the lens. New times, maybe it's also focused, you won't need that role, but it's still there. Gaffer, they are the head electrician for managing all the lighting. So a director of photography will tell them what they want, the gaffer will make it happen. You have to get your qualifications for this because it involves a lot of electricity, a lot of power, a lot of responsibility. You'll often find that a DOP has a gaffer they trust and they work together all the time. A grip does the actual handling of the lighting. You have a key grip who is the head of that. You'll have your best boy. Best boy is like your assistant to these roles. You have a best boy for your gaffer, you have a best boy for your key grip. Assistant director, not the same as in theatre. In theatre, they may actually be helping to direct the project. Assistant directing on a film set is much more logistical. It's time management, it's people management. You're essentially taking over the producer's work on the day. So you'll be there managing people, calling the shouts, telling everyone how long they've got to do everything. Your sound recordist or sound mixer, they're the head of the sound. Normally it'll just be one person on a small film, but on a big film, you'll also have a boom operator. The people who actually hold the boom, hold the microphone. A UST, utility sound technician. They're gonna be running the cables, actually getting everything sorted out safely. You'll have a DIT, a DIT, a digital imaging technician. They're a lot more important than you might think. Yes, on the smaller projects, they may just be organising the footage, making sure everything's there, good to go for the edit. But on a bigger set, they'll be getting rough cut together so the director and the DOP can have a look and make sure that they're happy with how everything's matching up, that they're not missing shots, that they've got the lighting how they want it. They'll put a lot on it, a nice little quick grade, so people can view it as it may appear after it's been graded. A colourist or colour grader, they make the film pop. They give it the contrast, the saturation, change colours, fix blemishes, give a tone to the film. A sound designer. In post-production, they'll be making sure that all the sounds are there that should be there. If the sound wasn't picked up on the day, they'll be filling it out. They'll be adding extra sounds. Where they might also be a Foley artist, people who actually record those sounds. There's incredible videos on how people do this. Most amazing concepts. I'll put some down below. Enjoy them. An art director is responsible for on the day all the set design, making sure that everything looks how it should, getting that mise en scene up to scratch to match the rest of the film. A script supervisor is in charge of making sure the continuity of the film is all good. If you have bad continuity in a film, you have a bad script supervisor, although sometimes it can be quite complicated, so we let them off. Hair and makeup, pretty obvious. Wardrobe, pretty obvious. Editor, they edit the film. Anything else? If you've got any jobs that you don't know, put it down below and I'll explain what it is. Alright, see you tomorrow.